guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and today we're doing like a quick little review. I'm super duper excited, so let's just jump in it. So, jump into it. So, anyway, so. Everyone knows who Emma Chamberlain is. I mean, if you're on YouTube, you know who she is. I used to watch her old thrifting videos, and now that she's like famous and her videos are kind of cooler, it's, I've kind of lost interest a little bit. Sorry, Emma, so I don't really watch her videos anymore. However, she is still the boss. She's awesome, love her. So when I heard that she came out with a coffee brand, like a whole coffee thing, I was like, Yo, that's so cool, cause you know what I love? I love coffee. Actually, I'm addicted to Bustelo. If you know, you know. That shit's like espresso, but drinking a whole cup of espresso. Like, an exp it's like drinking a whole mug of espresso. It's crack, it's great. So, the queen of iced coffee on the internet, right, came out with her own coffee. I had to try it. And then I found out that it's like a tea, like it's a coffee bag, you make it like tea. So pff, now I really had to try it. I ordered it, it's obviously here, and I thought why not try it together. So that's what this video is about. It's gonna be a short one, but I'm sure we're gonna have a great time. So it came in a clear bag. Uh, my address and stuff is on the other side, it's white, but this side is clear, so it's super cool. Branding and all that, you know, making sure the male people know what's up. So it was $10 for five bags, not exactly the cheapest. Usually when you make coffee at home, it's like a couple cents. Um, to pay two whole dollars for homemade coffee is probably the most expensive homemade coffee I've ever made. But, I mostly bought this for the experience. I've never made steeped coffee before. I'm sure Emma didn't invent this, but I've never heard of it before. The one plus side was it was free shipping, right? So it's not like it was $2 per bag and shipping. It was literally just $10 flat for the whole thing. And it got to my house like a week after I ordered it. It also comes with this little sticker that I will definitely be putting somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. I guess this makes me a uh, Emma Chamberlain fan now. I have a, her merch. Does this count as her? I think this counts as having someone's merch, I guess. Does this count as merch? Is coffee merch? Can coffee be merch? Not quite sure. Um, the packaging is super cute. It's like that right there. Chamberlain coffee, steeped coffee bag, tasting notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts. <laughs> Countries of origin, Colombia, Guatemala, Nicar Nicaragua, medium roast, freshly ground, and nitro sealed, roasted with love in California, USA. So that's cool. There's instructions on the back as well. Step one, submerge, place filter in a cup and gradually pour eight ounces of hot water per steeped bag. Two, saturate, dunk the bag for 15 seconds or longer for added strength. You know I want that added strength. And steep, leave steeped bag in cup or until preferred taste drink after five plus minutes. And oh my gosh, her coffee has its own Instagram. Wait, I gotta see this real quick. Watch her coffee Instagram have more followers than my actual Instagram. Yup. Yup, by a whole lot. Her coffee Instagram has 123,000 followers. That's ridiculous. And it has 11 whole posts. And it's just literally photos of the packaging. There's one photo of her in a coffee place. Okay, two photos of her in a coffee place. And the rest is just photos of the packaging. That is ridiculous. Good for you, Emma. Influencer goals, I guess. Okay, so back to the coffee. I guess I have to go heat eight ounces of water. There's also an expiration date on this thing. It says Best Buy 6 slash 10 2020. So I have six months to consume these five bags of coffee, which if it's good will be super easy. And if it's nasty, probably not gonna happen. I like my coffee super strong. So I'm a little bit doubtful of how strong a like tea bag coffee is. Hopefully I get proven wrong and it's like perfectly strong and amazing. So I'm gonna go heat up some water and I'll be right back. Okay, all right, I've steeped my water. I was gonna put it in a cute mug, but then I figured it would be cooler if I put it in this old salsa jar because then we could see the coffee like, you know what I mean? Okay, so we just need one of these packets. So I'm gonna put the rest of the packets away. And I'm gonna be trying it black. Here is the Chamberlain coffee. Okay, submerge, dunk, leave. What's the difference between dunk? Oh, dunk, like, okay. It smells good. It smells really good. It's literally just a giant tea bag. Look, it's just a giant tea bag of coffee. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know what I expected. I guess I expected a giant tea bag, but it's like that's cool. All right, ready? Hey, 
Hey Siri, set an alarm for 15 seconds. Do you see the coffee happening? Like, is this part really necessary? The dunking, I mean? Oh, it's definitely getting darker. Oh, thank God. I hate, I hate when coffee is like a very light color. Oh, it like looks like coffee now. I feel like it's been 15 seconds though. Okay, it's been 15 seconds. What the fuck, Siri? It's been 15. Siri just let me down right now. Okay, so we did that for 15 seconds. It's really dark. I'm actually very surprised. Dunk the bag for 15 seconds or longer for added strength. I did that. Leave steeped bag in a cup or until preferred taste. Drink after five plus minutes. All right, I'm gonna give my Siri a second chance right now. Hey Siri, set an alarm for five minutes. Okay, I set an alarm for 12.05 p.m. Okay, so we're just gonna leave this here for five minutes and then come back to it and do the taste test. That's all, that's all we have to do. Okay, so uh, it's been five minutes. I'm taking the tea bag out. My boyfriend just came home from the post office, so he's gonna give it a sip too. We're gonna give it our review. It got really dark. I'm very surprised. Uh, I did not think like a tea bag of coffee would get dark. I thought it'd be like this awful, like, very light yellowy, light brown color, but it, as you can see, it's legit dark coffee, and that's really great. I'm, I'm happy about that. You wanna come here? I meant to say black coffee. It's very mild. Yeah. This would be good iced. One second. It's not bad, you know? It's not bad, here. It's supposed to have yeah. notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts. Are you getting that in the flavor profile? I used to work at Starbucks, so I'm a coffee connoisseur now. I don't know. It I'm tastes not. like mild coffee. <laughs> I mean, that's what it's supposed to be. It's a medium roast, right? Yeah. Careful. It's very hot. Just like hold it like it. <laughs> yeah. It's not that's bad. Good. Yeah. Like, Ready? Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> I drink that without creamer. Imagine it iced with a little bit of like milk. No, it's good. Right? It's definitely good. Good job, Emma. Hmm. Good job. Would drink, will not drink, because I just had my morning coffee and having two in a row does not be good for my digestive digestive system or my brain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just put this in the fridge. But I'm giving Emma Chamberlain's coffee a solid Nine out of ten. I would say the same. Yeah, nine out of ten. Spot on. Uh, each one of these is two dollars though, so it's like not exactly mm. cheap. How many times can you reuse the same bag? Like zero times, any... I think. Like, oh, okay. Well. I would say if you're curious about it, get it. It's actually it's like fun to make. Whatever. I would never replace my regular coffee with this coffee, but. It's fun to make and it's good. It's not bad. You know, a lot of times like influencers will do something cool, but like the actual product is shitty. Mm -hmm. Product is good. But I, I give her a thumbs up. Like I, I would drink it black, which is not very common for me. It's just good. Like also if you're like on the go, like if you're at work or something like that and they don't have like a coffee maker, you can just bring in and yeah. just instant Ooh, coffee I, it's like instant yeah. coffee but not as disgusting yeah i don't but, i don't like the packets of oh instant no coffee, like. instant i would rather not drink coffee than yeah, drink because, instant coffee because a little the gr the grinds at the bottom sometimes. no the, not even that yeah. it just it's so disgusting i've never had instant yeah. coffee that i like so yeah you're true this does fit instant coffee the instant coffee realm without being disgusting which is very yeah. rare and because it's like drinkable without creamer you would also like not need creamer for yeah. it which sometimes for vegans finding creamer is like an issue so mm -hmm. i wonder what ever happened to those like silk single packets that they were advertising last year silk advertised these single packets of creamer last year and the vegan world was so excited and they said they were gonna have them at 7-eleven and they don't have them at any 7-elevens that i could find and now I just like have not, I stopped hearing about it. That would have solved so many issues for people and now they're gone. Let me know if silk single packet creamers are still a thing and if you can find them anywhere because I will buy them. Like I really want to try them so bad. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you came here finding out 
whether or not it's worth it to try these. I'd say yeah to try it, go for it, but it's not like worth it to now be an Emma Chamberlain coffee drinker for the rest of your life. Unless you're loaded like that and you could spend like that, then sure, go for it. That is all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, up my Instagram right here. That's the first time I've like pointed somewhere new. <laughs> and that's all I have for today. I'll put my boyfriend's social down below as well if you want to check him out. Um, yeah, that's all. Goodbye! <laughs> Special shout out to my Bodega Babes, Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex Who Planned Earth, Emily Blaine, Juanita, Emily B, Jenny, Marcia, Charlotte, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Clarissa, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Janine, and Nicole. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then please just stick around and watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. Catch you guys next video.